Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Just as Guam engages in its quest for self-determination, someone who's been on a similar journey says the opportunity still exists for our island. If the small countries of the Marshalls Palau, FSM could, could do this, could stand up and say, hey, well, we, we have a right to be, to be our own, I think that Guam has that as well. Former Republic of the Marshall Islands Foreign Minister Tony De Brum is on Guam this week as the keynote speaker for the University of Guam Island Sustainability Conference. He made some time for members of the Guam Legislature and the Commission on Decolonization to share his perspective on political self-determination. I think that uh, in spite of some, some, of, some of the major uh, impediments that may be, be thrown in the way, there is still an opportunity to, for Guam to have a voice in its own future rather than just to sit back and accept uh, what has been no doubt. The Nobel Peace Prize nominee was the Marshall Islands Vice Chairman and Prime Negotiator for the Marshall Islands Status Commission, where he led the drafting of the Marshall Islands Constitution and advocated annually before the United Nations Security Council. He shared his perspective on the RMI becoming a free association. The important, uh, uh, the important uh, uh, feature of free association that makes it, that makes it an acceptable world status is the unilateral termination. He says in his experience, the younger generation would probably agree that free association has worked better for the RMI. As for who has the right to vote, he says it was through universal suffrage and not just native inhabitants who were allowed to participate in the RMI. He did, however, say he was aware of the challenges here on Guam. It's much, much more complicated, as I understand, in Guam uh, because of, of, uh, of, of what laws apply to you and what what laws had been passed by the United States made applicable to you in, in the past and how, how those determine who, who is a, a self in Guam. But as we embark on this process, he says when it comes to making a political choice, it's absolute to know and understand what the choices are. But never leave a single option uh, out of, uh, off the table. Just keep going. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.